can you use HTO charts with chips drawn on them to divide? Yes, you can. And I'm going to do it right next to the long division algorithm. It's not my favorite way to, my favorite pictorial method for teaching this is actually using area model, but this is this, that's a different video. So I'm going to just try 162 divided by seven. So I'm going to draw it on the chart, 100. Five, six tens and two ones, and over here it's 162. I'm dividing it by seven. Now, when you divide <clears throat> by seven, it's the same thing as you're making groups of seven. How many groups of seven can I make? So, starting with the hundreds, I can't make any groups of seven, zero groups of seven. So, over here. That's going to be zero. What can I do? I don't just forget about that 100 and ignore it. I have to decompose it. It's 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tens. Now, how many tens do I have? I have 16, don't I? And I can start to find some groups of seven here. So I right, see I have six already. I just need one more. So there's a group of seven. And I can, I can make another group of seven here because it's five group and down there and there's two more. So I can make two groups of seven. Two. And I have two left over. Now, on this algorithm, I have to do the subtraction, right? So how many did I just circle? Two sevens, that's 14. So I'm going to subtract that 14 because I don't want to count them twice. And that, those are 14 tens. And I have two tens left there. And you know, you can probably figure out what I'm going to do with these two tens. I can't just forget about them. I have to, just like I did with the 100, I have to decompose it both of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now what am I looking at? I have, right, ten, twenty, and two more, twenty-two. Right? That's what happens when you bring down this two. You're looking at twenty-two ones now. So that's something that this is really good for, is it just shows you're looking at place value. I'm looking at 22 ones. This algorithm, we can have a philosophical debate about whether you, you really need to understand what you're doing when you execute an algorithm. But I'm still making groups of seven. So let's see what we have here. I've got uh, five group with two more. There's one. And then I've got a five group here. And I can get in those two. There's another group. And then I have a five group and the original two up there. I've got three groups of seven. And this guy right here is left over. So there's three groups. And that leftover guy I have to call a remainder because I can't decompose a one in third grade. So I'll just call it, oops, not remainder seven. It's only, there's only one of them. And then over here, right, how many ones did I just circle? I circled three groups of seven, that's 21. And that leaves one behind. And that was three groups right there are one.
one.